much for joining in so in today's video we will talk everything about sunscreen and i will share some of the secrets that no one ever told you before so without any further ado let's get started if you are watching my video for the first time hi my name is kitika i am a cosmetologist and if you want to see more such videos then please subscribe to my channel i really really appreciate it as we already know sunscreen is the most important part of our skin care routine right um because sun exposure can cause a lot of skin problems like acne scarring dark spots melasma um hyperpigmentation premature aging and things like that and if we are already facing all of these skin issues then it can make it worse so it's really important to apply sunscreen every single day even if we are indoors if you have ever looked at the tube of sunscreen um there's spf spf number pa and so much written on it and if you ever wondered what these things are what is spf what is pa what those numbers stands for i always used to wonder all of these things just like you um but now i know the meaning of all of these things so i really want to share that with you guys so firstly let me tell you what is spf spf is sun protection factor that protects our skin from uvb rays of the sun um uvb rays are short high energy wavelengths that enter our skin through the top layer of our skin and it can cause skin burn um freckles hyperpigmentation and it can even cause skin cancer over time and uh, spf protects us from all of these harmful things when we see spf written on the sunscreen packaging um there is also number written with that like spf 15 spf 30 or spf 50 right so um how much number do we need how much spf do we need to protect our skin better there are many spf available in market like i already told you spf 15 30 50 or even 100 but um spf 30 is most common level for most of us does anyone ever tell you that the difference between spf 30 and 50 is very little shocking right uh, like spf 30 blocks 97% of uvb rays and spf 50 blocks 98% of uvb rays so there is very little difference between these two and if you are wondering how much uh, spf 100 block uvb rays um spf 100 blocks 99% of uvb rays so there is very little bit of difference so the difference in percentage of protection is very small beyond spf 30 so i would say if you stay indoors then spf 30 is good for you but if you go outdoors then spf 50 is great and you have to reapply it every 2 hours should you apply sunscreen daily absolutely whether you are indoors or outdoors even if it's cloudy outside or it's raining even if it's summer winter it doesn't matter you have to apply sunscreen every single day does dusky or deeper skin tone people need to apply sunscreen absolutely i don't know why so many people say to me that they don't need to apply sunscreen because they have deeper skin tone which is absolutely wrong you need to apply sunscreen to prevent all of these skin problems that i already mentioned so no matter what your skin tone is darling you need to apply the sunscreen do we need to reapply the sunscreen and how many times let me tell you one thing and don't ever forget that i am going to tell you always always reapply your sunscreen no matter what you need to reapply the sunscreen every 2 hours if you are outdoors and if you are in uh, indoors then you can reapply it once or twice but if you work near windows then also you need to reapply every 2 hours so why do we need to reapply the sunscreen any type of sunscreen will naturally break down on your skin when it's exposed to the sun 
the sun breaks down all sunscreen actives over time and the mineral actives are most likely to be wiped off of the skin because it sits on the top layer of our skin and obviously almost all of us sweat so our sunscreen will break down that's why we need to reapply it do you only need to look for spf while buying sunscreen no you should also look for pa plus 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 don't buy pa plus or pa plus plus you specifically need to buy pa triple plus pa plus plus is also fine but pa plus 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 is much better pa tells you the level of protection that you are gonna get for from uv a rays like i already told you spf protect us from uv b rays and we also need something to protect us from uv a rays right so pa protects us from uv a rays so what uv a rays does it affects the dna of our cells and it goes a lot deeper thus the uv a rays contributes to photo aging so we need to protect our skin from uv a rays and pa protect us from uv a rays that's why we need pa plus 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 so it can protect us better so uv b rays protect us from sunburn or tanning and uv a rays protect us from photo aging you can simply remember this by uv a a means it protect us from aging and uv b means it protect us from burning okay types of sunscreen and difference between them so there are two different types of sunscreen one is physical or mineral sunscreen and another one is chemical sunscreen um the difference between physical and chemical sunscreen is um basically physical sunscreen form a layer on our skin and it did, it doesn't absorb into the skin so it acts like a shield physical sunscreens start working immediately when you put it on your skin they usually contains titanium dioxide or zinc dioxide they usually leave the white cast on your skin but nowadays manufacturers use nanoparticles to make physical sunscreen and this process will um, make it easier to apply the sunscreen and it doesn't leave a white cast that we usually face when we apply normal physical sunscreens chemical sunscreens on the other hand they contains active ingredients that uh, absorb the sun rays into your skin so they absorb sun, uh, sun rays into your skin and it takes about 20 minutes for the entire process and then they scatter the uv rays chemical sunscreens contain one or more ingredients like oxybenzone avobenzone octinoxate homosalate um octisalate and ingredients like that chemical sunscreens are easier to apply and they don't leave white cast like physical sunscreens which sunscreen is best for you we will talk about more of these questions in the next video so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video till then stay positive spread positivity and take care of yourself bye